What's up, everyone? Chris Record here with another powerful episode of the 90 Day Challenge. Today, we're going to get a little bit more advanced when it comes to Facebook advertising. <clears throat> Earlier this week, we talked about how to run viral videos from your Facebook accounts. We talked about several different pages and products. We talked about how to run viral videos. Here's an example. Uh, here's an example here. I've got a Shopify video that I'm advertising. This video's had 2.4 million views. So here's an example, a 2.4 million view video that has a link in the description right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna do two things. We want to first get our viral videos a lot of views, and then second, we wanna advertise them to convert sales. So step one is social proof. How can we get our videos a lot of views? And step two is revenue. How can we generate revenue from them? So in a previous training, if you watched the three zero club training, the viral video club training, and I'll actually go to it right now. But if you watch that training, let's go to facebook.com. Let's go to our group. Um, <clears throat> if you look in the group, you'll see that over the last few days, we've taught a lot about viral videos. Let me pull up, let me pull open uh, this entire list of all this training. So you'll see we taught a lot about viral videos. So refresh your mind, refresh your memory on how to make things go viral by doing page post engagement ads, which we call PPE ads. Okay, let's look. Day 34, how to use viral videos to sell products. Day 32, how to get Facebook video views for 0 .0003 each, right? So there's, there's, and then we talked on day 33, we talked about viral videos on Instagram. So we've really talked for a few days about viral videos. And the key here is what can you do? How, how do you do this? So step one is start with page post engagement ads to the videos. And then step two is run conversion ads to the videos. Okay. So let's walk through this. <clears throat> step one and step two. <clears throat> to do so right now, we're gonna use one of my fan pages. And then what we'll do is we'll personalize it more for, uh, we'll personalize it more for Shopify. So first we'll kind of talk about what I'm doing and then we'll go to Shopify with it. Okay, so on this page, I'm running a couple viral video ads on my main fan page. Now to get you guys excited, you wanna know what one of the cool benefits of viral video ads are? I'm not running any page likes. I'm not running any ads to get more likes. But look at this, I'm up 15,000 likes this week alone, 124,000 likes, and I'm up 15,000 this week. So if anybody's interested in growing their fan page by thousands and thousands of likes every single week, this is all just extra. I'm not trying to get this. This is happening all because I'm marketing some videos. So that's happening primarily from uh, this video right here. Okay, that's primarily most of this is coming from advertising this one video. Now it is coming from a couple sources, but this video's a lot of it. So what we've done is we've uploaded a video and we've boosted it. Now we don't use this boost button. We, ne we never use this boost button right here. But what we do is we got a little description here. It's selling something. And we're gonna place a page post engagement ad to it, maybe a bunch, get it a lot of social proof, such as 2.4 million views, 47,000 likes, 4,000 shares, you know, hundreds and hundreds of comments. So now that it has social proof, what we wanna do is we wanna run some conversion ads to it. I'm gonna show you both. We're gonna use this video, and then I wanna inspire you to do it with your own Shopify videos, if you will, okay? So kind of follow along. We are gonna have some fun with this today. Okay, so let me go here. Uh, let me pull up the live stream in its own thread really quick so I can also monitor the comments. Yesterday, the, the screen froze right in the middle of the presentation. Okay, people are starting to join us right now. Yeah, yesterday the, the screen froze literally right in the middle of the presentation. So hopefully uh, it goes smooth today. Okay, let's see, looks like we're going pretty smooth. Okay, <clears throat> so as people are joining us, let's just kind of run through this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into my ads manager over here and I'm gonna run two types of ads to this video. One is I'm gonna run a page post engagement ad because I wanna get a lot of viral activity. I wanna get a lot of comments, likes, shares, and views. Then. I'm gonna run a conversion ad because I wanna get sales. So let's just show this. So first I'm gonna start with an engagement ad. And I'm gonna make this real simple. I'm gonna place a bunch of ads right in front of you and I'm just gonna use Shopify as the audience. So everything for the campaign name, I'm gonna call this Shopify Wrap Video. Then I'm gonna do, what is the purpose of this ad? I'm gonna do um, PPE. And then over here I'm gonna do what keyword am I gonna top it? I'm just gonna target Shopify. 
as the keyword. So I've got the name of the post, the objective is a PPE ad, and then I've got the keyword I'm gonna target is people interested in Shopify. So I'm gonna go to continue. And now inside of my um, ads manager, I can create a new ad set or create multiple. I'm always just gonna do one at a time. Create new ad set. Okay, down here, <clears throat> who do I want to target? Well, on the page post engagement ad, all I'm trying to do is get more likes, shares, views, all that. So I might do something like this. I might go worldwide. Target worldwide, it's gonna pull up a region. And I might just go worldwide to start with, okay? So let's do one right here, worldwide, okay? So instead of just United States, I'm actually gonna target everywhere in the world, okay? Um, let's do one that's worldwide here. Uh, I'm gonna do everybody, men and women, and I'm just gonna target the keyword Shopify. Okay, interests. Okay, that's it, worldwide, all ages, all genders, Shopify, and I'm gonna make it, um, you know, real simple, okay? Real simple. Now, what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna go to edit placements, and <clears throat> here's what's cool. Since I'm just wanting video views, I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna do mobile only, because people are gonna engage easily right there with, with their mobile phone. It's just a real easy experience, they watch it, and I'm gonna cut off all these other ones. So instead of all these things, I'm just gonna start with mobile on the newsfeed. So I'm gonna cut out Instagram, I'm gonna cut out all these, and I'm just gonna stick with feeds, okay? So worldwide, mobile, there's 11 million people worldwide that have an interest in Shopify, okay? So uh, there we go, and then for my budget, you guys know I'm a fan of $5 a day ads because it's just really easy to manage. I'm gonna set it to five, and I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so let's, let's review. My objective is page post engagement. I'm trying to get a lot of views, likes, shares, comments. So I'm choosing worldwide since I don't care about sales. And you guys might say, why am I spending $5 if I don't care about sales? Because I'm gonna basically boost the popularity of the post and then I'm gonna run separate ads to sell. So what I've got is I'm targeting worldwide, <clears throat> all ages, all genders, people interested in Shopify, and I'm only showing it to mobile newsfeed. So it's only gonna show to people on Facebook in their mobile newsfeed, $5 a day, don't change anything else. And down here I could do, um, for ad set name, I might do Shopify, worldwide, all, all ages, all genders, okay? All ages, all genders, okay? Something like that. Now, continue. Next is I'm gonna use an existing post. I'm gonna find that video that I uploaded. I already took the time to upload it. I'm gonna find it. So I'm gonna come over here and go to a fan page, and I'm gonna type in that fan page that I'm posting from, Google it, or I'm gonna basically search it. Then I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna try to find through all these posts. I could either enter the post ID, if I have the post ID, I can enter it, or I can scroll through and see if I can quickly find it out of all these videos. You can see I post a lot of content to my page. I'm looking for the Shopify rap video, um, and I'm looking for the one that has a lot of views. <clears throat> Hold on, almost there, here we go. So right here, 4,000 shares, 44,000, there's my Shopify rap video. <clears throat> so just like that, I have found an existing post, okay? So of course I can create a new one, but I don't want to. Now, here's what it's gonna look like, because it's in mobile, so I'm gonna make sure with the emojis and everything that this looks good. So here's this Shopify wrap video, and I'm basically running a $5 a day ad to boost it, okay? And you could track conversions if you want, doesn't really need, these aren't, this isn't a conversion ad, so it doesn't, make, it doesn't make as much of a difference, you can if you like. So this is a $5 a day ad where the purpose is more views, more likes, more comments, and more shares. Because when there's a lot of social activity, when somebody sees this and there's millions of views, they're gonna like it. So then you just go to process your order and it's done. It's processed, your new ad is approved. So what I've done is I've just done a $5 a day ad to boost engagement. Now, if I'm confident about this video, then I'm probably gonna do that, I'm gonna probably try doing that to a few different audiences. Maybe $5 a day to Shopify, maybe $5 a day to another one, whatever, yada yada, okay? so. That is how I'm gonna place a page post engagement ad. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, let's say that this, this ad has been going for a while and it's engaged, hold on. I'm trying to find the right link there, there it is. Okay, let's say that this has been <clears throat> going for a while, which it has, 
and now I've got a viral video. I've got this video, it's got 2.4 million views. Uh, I usually would monetize before that, but let's say my video's already viral. Now I wanna make money from it. So now what you're gonna do is, first of all, to make money, you gotta make sure you have a link in the description that's selling something. In this case, I'm selling them Techademics. So we'll do this next with Shopify with your own products. But right now you've got a link going to whatever. You gotta make sure that whatever whatever site they land on, your Shopify store, you gotta make sure you have a conversion pixel set up there, which we've taught in our trainings. So assuming you've got something to sell, you're gonna run another ad over here, conversions, okay? <clears throat> and you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna do Shopify wrap video. And then here you're gonna do um, either, I did PPE, this one I'm gonna do website conversions. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, the keyword, Shopify. So it's the same exact ad but this time I'm doing website conversions, okay? So let's watch how this works. With a conversion ad, the first thing is what type of conversion am I looking to create? Now, I wanna do two types of conversions, or actually three types, okay? So, you know, I wanna do a view content, okay? I want people, I want the first ad, $5 a day, I want people to basically watch the video and then click and view my and view my offer. So the first ad is I want to train Facebook. Can you help find me some people that are um, gonna view this ad? So it's called a view content ad. I want people to watch the video, click the link, and visit my site. So I'm optimizing for clicks, basically. So I'm gonna do view, view content, and I'm gonna go over here. Now, because I'm advertising <clears throat> in the United States, this is where I'm selling. I wanna sell people. If your Shopify store is, in the, is selling in the United States, Target the country you're looking to sell people. So now I'm gonna get a little bit more targeted. United States, all ages, men and women, detailed targeting, Shopify. And of course I would do different lists, but we're gonna do detailed targeting, Shopify. I'm gonna uncheck this. And then it's gonna show me, okay, 12 million potential people, okay? So I'm gonna go down here to edit placements. And same thing, I'm gonna turn off Instagram. I'm gonna turn off audience network. And I'm gonna go over here and just do news feeds, okay? Now, actually, I might even just do mobile news feeds in this case, because I know Facebook, if I do this, if I choose all devices, Facebook's just gonna show it to mobile anyway, so let's just, let's just actually just do mobile. If I wanna do desktop, I can run another one. So let's do mobile and let's uncheck everything else, just like that. So now I'm running ads to the mobile news feed for the term Shopify. I'm gonna make my budget $5 a day. But now it's optimized for conversions, okay? And we're gonna do the same exact thing here. This is gonna be, you know, this is gonna be Shopify, uh, instead of worldwide, it's gonna be Shopify United States um, mobile FB news feed, okay? Something like that. Something where I can just remember something about the ad set. Okay. It wants me to create a new ad. But here's the thing, I can actually scroll down and I can actually go in here and there's a few different things that I can do. I can come in here and I can use an existing ad, I can use an existing, uh, I can use an existing page, I can use an existing, um, there's a lot of things I could do. I could come in here and I could use an existing, um, ad. I could create a new one. So there's all kinds of things that you can do when you come in here, right? And this, let's talk, actually, because this is a, I know there's a lot of beginners watching, let me bring this computer closer to me. And let's see, if I could, let's see if I can walk through this to make sure I don't lose anybody. I know there was a lot of questions the other day in the group about this. So let's see, if I can, uh, let's see if I can follow along and kind of show you all a little bit more about this. And also, yours might look a little bit different than mine. That's another thing that might be happening, okay? So let's walk through this. There's two types of things that you can do. You can create a new ad, okay? Or you can use existing ad. When you create a new ad, you can do all of these different options. Well. I wanna break this down because the people get confused. When you see this video, okay, see how this has 2.4 million views? Well, if I um, create a new ad, a video ad right here, let's say, and I upload that video, it's gonna start the views over from scratch. So when you're trying to create popularity, you don't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna to try to see if this can make sense. You don't want to do that. When you're, trying to, when you're trying to get a lot of views, if I'm running page post engagement as this, I've spent a lot of time basically trying to get um, a lot of people to watch this video and try to get these numbers up, you know, 4,000 shares. Well, if I start a new post uh, using this in here, then all of those will go away. So that's why you don't wanna do that, okay? 
so what you're doing is you're essentially looking for, you know, creating existing ads. Now there's a bunch of different ways to be able to do this, okay? So we're gonna kind of talk about that. Now, your business fan page and stuff like that, like Chris Racker, you could choose which fan page to run it from, and that's fine, right? You could choose different fan pages to run it from, but this won't matter as much, okay? So what you're looking to do is you're looking to, you know, essentially come in here. So watch, go to conversions, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. Not a trick, sorry, just a way, to, a way to be able to use it. We'll optimize the delivery to get most of these. So when you come in here for a conversion ad, look at all these different types of events that you can do. Let's do a purchase, for example. It's, it will optimize, the way conversions work is it will optimize the ad to get more people to click and buy your product. So this is the ad. They have to watch the video, and then they don't have to. They could watch like three seconds. Facebook is gonna optimize for people to click this and then it's gonna take them to some kind of a sales page or whatever, your, your, your Shopify website or whatever and then it's gonna have a pixel. So a pixel fires here and then if they click through um, and purchase, a pixel fires. Now, you could set the purchase to whatever you want. We have the purchase set for when they actually go in and join, right? So, <coughs> Facebook, the pixel won't fire until the thank you page. If this was a Shopify store, okay, if this was a Shopify store, it would work like this. You would drive them to an individual product. Let's say it was uh, this product, okay. The ad, the video, would be like a, a phone charger video. It would basically be like this video here would be all about a phone charger. The link would drive them straight to a page like this, okay. And when they get to the page, this is called view content. When they get to the page, it's optimized for view content. Now, you can optimize it for, um, another one you could optimize it for is the next one, let's do add to cart. Okay, I'll show you. The next one's gonna be like add to cart. And then you could get, um, you know, and this one we have is a lead. Same thing, we've got lead on ours, a lead to add to cart. And that's gonna be if they do this, add to cart. Okay, boom. Now we're on another page, we're inside the shopping cart. A new pixel is gonna fire. It's gonna tell Facebook that the person clicked the link, went to the product, and added it to the cart. So this is more valuable. Then, when the person purchases this, when they go through and fill this information out, and they purchase this product, it'll go to a thank you page, and a new pixel will fire that tells Facebook, somebody watch the video, click the link, they viewed it, they added it to cart, and they purchased it, okay? So that's what these pixels are. You know, you got you know view content, purchase, all these. So when you choose purchase, Facebook is only going to um, fire it off after somebody checks out. So they're gonna have to fill out all this information, continue the shipping method, do this and that, continue the credit card method, and then pay and then they're gonna to have to buy it. I don't wanna do that live on here. But then after they buy it, then it fires off. So if you don't get any sales at all, then Facebook is not getting any smarter with this. So let's, let's talk, let's talk um, business owner, put on your business owner hat. If you are gonna use a purchase conversion, Facebook is only gonna get smarter as more and more purchases come in. It says, Facebook says, we'll optimize delivery, delivery of your ads to get the most at the lowest cost. Well, you're gonna to need to give Facebook dozens of purchases in order for them to start to analyze the data and optimize it. If you have no purchases, then this ad is useless. This ad is literally useless. If you have no purchases, Facebook has no data to optimize. If you have one purchase, it's still pretty much useless, right? Facebook, does, Facebook needs a lot of data, and maybe, maybe what we could do is we could actually pull up a notepad and I could write, let me, let me pull up a notepad and write this down as an example for you because I think this is important for you to understand. Let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can make this text big. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, and let's change my screen sharing to share my notepad. Okay, let's see. Text edit. <clears throat> okay, so let's, let's walk through this as a notepad as an example real quick. So, um, how Facebook, pixels work, we're gonna do beginner to advanced, okay. So, um, use pixels in this order for Shopify, okay. First, you're gonna have a view content, 
then you're going to have add to cart, then you're going to have purchase. Okay, so the, in a nutshell, Facebook will start optimizing your ads for these conversions, um, for these conversion categories, but they need a lot of conversions in order to optimize them well. Okay, so for example, let's start with a view content conversion pixel. Facebook, um, let, let's set a goal. Goal is gonna equal, you wanna get 100 people to view your content so Facebook can optimize. Okay, actually, let's, let's put this as a big goal up here. Goal, get 100, um, get 100 metrics before FB can optimize properly. Now, this would be 100 people to click and view your product. This would be 100 people to add your product to shopping cart. And then this would be 100 people to pay and successfully purchase your product. Okay, so this should be your goal. Let me make this a little smaller so you can fit it all on the screen. Okay, <clears throat> how Facebook pixels work, right? Your goal should be to get 100 metrics of each before Facebook can optimize properly. So start here. View content. The first thing you wanna do is get 100 people to click and view your product because that's the easiest. They don't have to add it to the cart. They don't have to purchase anything. This is the easiest. After you get 100 people to click and view your product, next, your goal should be to get 100 people to successfully add it to, your, to the shopping cart. Next is to get 100 people to purchase it. Now, of course, we all, we all want money because this might take money to get there, okay? So we really have to think, we really have to kind of think this through and it's a little difficult. It, it, it's like, have you ever heard that statement? It takes money to make money. Yes, that's true with paid advertising. Okay, but our ads, our, our ads are so inexpensive that we are running at $5 a day to like, you know, maybe $25 a day. It's not, it's not a lot that we're running. So view content, 100 people to click and view your product, right? So the issue is, is that clicks can cost a lot, you know? Um, how much do clicks cost? You know, clicks might cost you between 10 to 50 each, okay? Especially when you're new, you may not know exactly how to get good clicks. And if you don't know how to get good clicks and good cheap clicks, then you're gonna run into an issue of not necessarily knowing how to, you're gonna spend a lot of money just trying to get people to click your link. So it's a little tough. This view content one is a little tough. And this is why most people don't do it. And this is why most people don't teach it because Nobody really just has money to throw, right? So if you're trying to get, let's say, 100 clicks and you're charging 10 cents each, well, that's going to be, let's say, $10. So that would be between $10 to $50 to get 100, 100 clicks at 10 cents to 50 cents each. Now, there's no guarantee of purchase or anything. Now, if you purchased, if you spent a $5 a day ad and ran it for two days um, or spent ran five five dollar a day ads and ran them for two days you might be able to get a hundred clicks based on this metric okay so the cool thing about this here's the cool thing about this is that you're practicing and it's just on a small amount of money now out of a hundred people clicking that doesn't mean nobody added it to cart and purchased all this means is that Facebook is optimizing it for people to view your content they're just basically saying instead of viewing your viral video or your thing, they're actually viewing your content. They want people to click and view your product, your content, whatever it is. Now, the next metric is gonna be add to cart. Now we're starting to start getting transactional. Okay, you got 100 people to visit, click and view your product. Some of them added to cart. Now here's a cool thing. Out of these 100 people that click and view your product in this, in this metric, if let's say nobody added it to the cart, I wouldn't even probably bother running these ads. 
if you paid like ten to fifty dollars and nobody even added a, the product to a cart, then what's happening is your something is unsuccessful. So there's already going to be a warning sign here. Something's unsuccessful. Now, when you run a view content ad, you might even get sales. You might get purchases and you might get add to carts. That's fine. But your objective is Facebook is going to start to find people that are likely to view your content. That's a good starting point. Now, once you get that out of the way, this one right here is better. Add to cart. Now what you're doing is you want to set a goal to get 100 people to add your product to a shopping cart. After these people add it to the shopping cart, hopefully out of these 100 people, some of them purchased it. Okay, let's hope that some people purchased it. So if you know Damien's method, Damien's method would be to run $5 a day, add to cart, and $5 a day, purchase. Okay, $5 a day, add to cart, and $5 a day, purchase. It's going to cost you $10 a day, okay, and your goal is to get at least 100 of each, so you just keep running them, okay. The reason is, is the reason you do this is because if you get 100 people to add to the cart, some of them are going to purchase. And then eventually you're going to get more people to purchase. The reason you don't just start with a $5 a day purchase ad is because if you get zero purchases, Facebook has no way to be able to optimize your ad at all. Right? So you're looking to basically run a $5 a day add to cart and a $5 a day purchase conversion. Okay, purchase conversion ad. These are going to be your two kind of lifeblood, if you will. Okay? You can run both of them simultaneously. This is going to start to track conversions. Now, what's going to happen is um, you're going to run run these ads for three to four days to get results. Okay, total cost is going to be about thirty to forty dollars. Okay, out of that thirty to forty dollars, something has happened. Either one of three options happened. One, you didn't make any sales. Let's just say little to no sales. Option one is little to no sales. Option two is um, you maybe broke even. And number three was um, you were profitable. Okay? So little to no sales basically means you lost money. Okay? So what happens is you're going to run these ads for three to four days, 30 to $40, going to a single product. <coughs> and, and one of three things is going to happen. You either lost money, you broke even or you're profitable. Lost money broke even or we're profitable. Okay? Now, if you're profitable, you scale it. If you break if you broke even, you probably still scale it. If you lost money, you pause it. Now, if you lost money, you're out 30 to $40 or maybe you lost maybe you made $20. Then maybe you you spent 40, you made 20, you're only out 20. Whatever this is, this is a loss. This is part of the process in understanding ads. Okay? It's part of the process. So this is, this is critical that you understand that every time you run these, you're going to have one of these three things happen. Now, your goal is always going to be this one, okay? Um, lost money, pause campaigns, break even. Um, what I would say is I would say keep running. And if you're profitable, scale, baby, scale up. That's, and then what happens is all you need is a profitable campaign and it makes it all worth it. And that's really all you're shooting for is just profitability, profitability, profitability. And now Facebook's going to start optimizing ads, but you need to get results. You need to get like at least – for you to really start to take advantage of the purchase conversion pixel, you're going to need like 100 people to successfully pay. Yes, it will start optimizing along the way, but once you give 100 people data – and the reason, um, the reason is let's – like here is why Facebook – purchase pixel works so well. Okay. Let's give an example, okay? Um, buyer number 1. So let's let's start looking, let's start looking at what happens, you know, buyer number 2, buyer number 3. Okay? Facebook is going to um, Facebook will analyze the data that they have on each of your buyers to look for common interests and behaviors that they can use to optimize your ads and show to more people like that, okay? So let's say buyer number one. Let's say buyer number one was a woman. Buyer number two is a woman and buyer number three is a woman, okay? Facebook will start optimizing more for women 
because women are more likely to purchase based on the data they are seeing, okay? Now that's a very simple one, right? Well, let's say woman who lives in Oklahoma, let's say woman who lives in Arkansas, and let's say woman who lives in Kansas, um, something like that, okay? Now they might go optimizing for more women. Now they might, FB will start optimizing for women who live in the Midwest of the United States, okay? See what's happening? So they're starting to look at demographics. Now, let's say this woman here was age 35. This woman here was age 45. This woman here is age 55. Now, FB will start optimizing for women who live in the Midwest ages 35 to 55. Okay, do you see how this works? As Facebook starts collecting more data. Now, this is only three people. So Facebook, you know, like let's say, let's say they start looking at their interests. Interests, cooking, um, Walking Dead TV show, and maybe um, they are a parent, parenting. And then this person here has interests. Maybe this person here likes dancing. Um, they like uh, the TV show. Um, cupcake Wars, and they uh, they also are uh, they're a mom, and then this person here, interests are they might like um, they might like uh, luxury stuff, travel, and then they are a um, and then let's say like baby products, okay. So what's happening is that Facebook has the data. Facebook is analyzing the data because Facebook knows the person came from Facebook, clicked your ad and purchased. Facebook's gonna look at the data and go, okay, this person here is a parent, they're a mom, and this person here is likely a mom. So Facebook's able to analyze the data and say, okay, women 30, so what happens is FB starts showing ads to women ages, 35 to 55 in Midwest uh, USA who are moms. And there you go. So what they do is they look. Now, of course, they have interests on these women. They have hundreds of interests. So they're really able to calculate it. They have behaviors. They know what these people like, where they live, what their ages are, all kinds of stuff about them. So as you get more and more and more buyers, okay? So the idea is once you get over 100 buyers, Facebook has more data and can properly really target your ideal potential buyers and optimize your ads for you. With only three buyers, it's very hard. Now, in this case, I made it easy, right? I said they were all women who lived in the Midwest who were this age. Well, it might take 100 buyers for them to start to calculate all this data, but this is essentially how optimizing works that Facebook has this information. Remember the buyers coming from Facebook. So since Facebook has this information, that's how they're converting. So <clears throat> you're going to start maybe with like a view content, or even if you're going to skip this one, you're at least going to start with $5 add to cart conversion and $5 purchase conversion. So what I do, this is, this is what I do. Here's the Chris record method. Okay. The Chris record method equals post a Viral video with a product link uh, to your Shopify product. Okay, this is the Chris Record method. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do $5 a day PPE ad. Okay, and then I'm gonna do $5 a day PPE ad, um, and I'm gonna do audience 1 million to 10 million on average. Okay. That's gonna be my starting point, $5 a day um, PPE ad. And then if, let's put in, let's put in my, my um, scaling. If cost per engagement is or less, then I'll duplicate the ad, okay? This is called two zero club. 
if cost per engagement is because it's it's selling a product directly, if cost per engagement is two zeros after the decimal point, if cost per engagement, okay, after 24 hours, cost per let's say after 24 hours, okay, if cost per engagement is five cents or less after 24 hours, then I'll duplicate the ad. In which case, then I'll have it'll look like this: add one, add two, add three. Okay, so I'll just duplicate the ad. I'll either duplicate it exactly, or I'll duplicate it and slightly change up the interest, but but kind of keep the audience right around that size. Now, then, if the uh, once the ad, once the post has good social engagement, which I'll use is like one thousand, one hundred thousand plus views. ETC, then I'll run website conversion ads to it. And then you want to do add to cart and purchase ads. Okay, and that's where these start to click in right there. So this is the Chris Record method. I know this might seem a little bit advanced, but I told you today I wanted to get a little bit advanced. What I'll do is I'll run a viral video with a link in the description going straight to a Shopify product page. Okay. So an example would be um, like what I showed with Phone BB. Um, they made a viral video about the charger and they went straight to their page selling the charger for 15 bucks. You run a $5 a day page post engagement ad to a large audience, okay? Now, what I'll do for these $5 a day add to cart conversions, what I'll do is I'll run audience size will be 200,000, to 800,000, okay? That's gonna be the one thing that I'm gonna change. Now I'm still gonna try to get as many people as I can. I already explained that though. Audience size, so that's a big thing. Here the audience size was 1 million to 10 million, right? So the big thing that's changing is that in this case, once I'm running conversion ads, I'm gonna actually narrow down my audience a little bit more to people likely to purchase. And that's what I wanna go back and show you right now is I wanna come kinda go back and I wanna show you People that are likely to purchase. So look at these stats. You guys should be writing down these stats right now if you can. Um, the reason you should write these down is because you want to um, you want to uh, you're going to want to find like people. You you're going to want to go in and you know find people who are um, most likely to like. How can I say it? Like people who are. Um, we're going to narrow down your. Maybe you have a 10 million audience. That might be too generic. You're gonna to try to find who are the most likely people within that audience that you could sell to. You're gonna start and then let Facebook do the rest of the optimizing for you. Now, I don't mind if it's sometimes my perfect audience is maybe a million. I'm giving you a general range right here, okay? So let's go back and let's look at this. Let me go share my screen back again to um, Google Chrome. Okay, you should be on Google Chrome. So where were we? We left off over here. So remember we were talking about, <clears throat> we wanna post a conversion ad to a single video product. But if you upload a new video here, it's gonna create a new ad. We don't wanna do that. We don't. The reason we don't wanna do that is because we wanna use all the social proof. So you gotta go up here, okay? You're creating a new ad. We gotta click on this. And we gotta say, use existing post. Okay, so let's do that. Use existing post instead. Now, we can go over here, find the existing video post, the same one that we were just running, and let's go back and let's find it through all these posts or just type in the post ID and boom, now we're set, okay? Now we're running, instead of a page post engagement ad, let's go back and let's, let's review since we just jumped back over here. Now we're running a conversion ad. The conversion is set for purchase. We're gonna run a $5 a day purchase ad and a $5 a day um, ad to cart. You can run the same exact ad. The audience, I'm targeting people in the United States now and I'm targeting people interested in Shopify, and I'm, I'm having it only on mobile newsfeed, and $5 a day, seven days, all this kind of stuff, and then continue, and then I'm using an existing post. I'm using this existing one because I want all this existing social proof that I paid for with my page post engagement, okay? And if you can't find it, you can enter in the post ID, okay? And then you make sure it has your, your promotion, your pixel on it, and then you place the order. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna take this post right here and it's gonna run conversion ads.
okay? You can start reaching millions of people now and start selling and start converting. Now, after you've converted about 100 sales of whatever it is you're selling, Facebook is gonna start getting smarter and is gonna start being able to optimize your ads better for you. That's what you wanna do. You wanna keep continuing that process. So my order has been placed. So just like that. So that's kind of how you get, um, this is how you're gonna run your, your, your products. You're gonna run your ads this way. All you have to do is make sure that your Facebook pixel is on your, is, is on your store. Like in this case, this is my, my marketing account. So I'm not using, I don't use the store account in here. I use the marketing account because um, I use, clearly I wanna share it all public. So here's a marketing account. So you just go get your pixel ID inside your marketing account. You go grab your pixel ID and then you um, add it inside your Shopify store. So you go inside your Facebook account, grab your pixel ID, and then go add that pixel ID to your Shopify store. It's very, very easy. If you don't know how to do it, watch this. This is how Google works. This is why Google's so great. Watch this, add Facebook pixel to Shopify. You can literally just do a Google search and it's this simple, whatever. You just click on the first one if you want. It says there's two ways to do it. Step one is this. From your Shopify admin, let's zoom it in. From your Shopify admin, click online store and then click preferences. Find the Facebook pixel section and enter your Facebook pixel ID, click save. That's it. You just go to your online store, go to preferences and you paste your, <coughs> your code right there. Paste your Facebook pixel ID, that's it. And then you just press save, okay? As long as you have a Facebook, as long as you have your Facebook pixel ID and you're placing your ad from the same account, see? If this is the pixel ID on my store, I have to place an ad, create an ad from within this account. That's all Facebook needs. Now that Facebook has that, Facebook has the ability to be able to start optimizing that, okay? So, and then that's how you can start getting a lot of um, what's called fires on your pixel. Every time a visitor visits it, it's gonna fire it off and then you're gonna start getting purchase conversions, um, add to cart conversions, you name it. Retargeting, all the fun stuff begins. So I wanted to show you how to be able to do that because we left off over here with um, showing how to do viral videos and place page post engagement ads. Some of you now need to go in and you need to place website conversion ads. So let's do it one more time for the sake of making this super simple. Let's do it one more time for everybody so we can show you how to be able to um, do it. Okay, you ready? Let's go through it from scratch. Let's go place an ad on Facebook. Let it load. It's loading a little slow, but it is what it is. Okay. Once you have a video that's kind of going viral, you go over here to conversions. Okay. Name it your viral video. Okay. Whatever your video is called. So I might go video phone charger. And then I like to put website conversion. So I know it's a website conversion ad. And then what keyword am I going after? I'm going to go after in this case, might go after iPhone um, six owners. Okay, I'm gonna advertise that phone charger we were just looking at. Where is that thing? Let me go back. Okay, this one here, top seller. So let's say this was your product right here that you're trying to sell, a wireless phone charging kit, okay? So if this is your product right here that you're trying to sell, okay, then you would go in and you would basically, let me go back to it, where is it? Right here. Okay, you'd say you're advertising a video, it's the phone charger, website conversions, iPhone 6 owners. Press continue. Okay, you're gonna choose what type of <clears throat> um, conversion you're gonna go for. So let's go for uh, like a purchase conversion. You can do add to cart, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can just type it in if you don't know what it is. And then let's go over here. We're gonna target people in whatever market you're selling in, whatever age range you're selling in. If your product's for men or women, you're gonna choose all that. And then you're gonna uncheck that box. And then whatever your market is, let's say this one's iPhone 6 users, or iPhone 6 in this case, behaviors. So we'll just do behaviors. Okay, so there's all these people doing iPhone 6. Now this is gonna to be too big. Remember it's 18 million. Do you remember I like to get that thing down? I like to narrow it down. So what I'll do is I'll probably narrow it down. Um, you just look at the product and you can narrow it down. So you're, you kind of look at this product and if there's something specific, if this product had a dog on it, then you would narrow it down to dogs, right? 
This thing works for Android and iPhone, but this one I'm going to target iPhone 6 people. Some people, people on iPhone 6 and what other kind of interests can we narrow this down with? Maybe they like technology, they like gadgets, they like kind of stuff like this. So watch. So we'll do like, this is an example. We'll, do, we'll just do a Google search. Gadget TV shows, okay? And we'll kind of say like, we'll say like, what kind of, what kind of TV shows are there? Oh, that's Inspector Gadget. That might be a bad, right here. Most popular TV shows for tech and gaming. Okay, so you can kind of look like, you can kind of get some ideas for some for some shows, you know. Like we could say, like the Gadget Show, Making Stuff, Power Lunch, Exploit. Okay, let's do a better search. Let's say TV shows for technology, maybe. And you can start to find people who might be interested. So, as a Silicon Valley TV show. Okay, so when you're placing your ad, you got people who have iPhone six. We want to get this down to like under a million. So we'll narrow the audience and maybe we'll type in like Silicon Valley, the TV show. So we're narrowing it down and that's 54,000. So that's too small. So it's all right. We'll keep bringing it up by adding more inside this block. So they got to have an iPhone 6 owner who's interested in these things. And let's see if there's, um, let's see what other TV shows maybe we can add in there. Okay. See if there's anything else. Startup TV show might be a good one. <clears throat> eight best TV series about hacking and technology. You can start like looking at these and you can target TV shows. You can also target like um, other apps, other kind of chargers, stuff that they might like. So you can go in here and you can like look and see if there's, you know, other things that they might like and that's kind of how you narrow it down. Like let's even just see what the ads manager has for us. So instead of a TV show, we can go in here and go, okay, iPhone 6. We can narrow it down by saying these people, let's, let's type in like, um, let's type in solar charger. Okay, people are interested in solar chargers. So let's take out this uh, TV show. So iPhone six, people are interested in solo charger, uh, solar solar chargers. Let's say battery chargers. There's 150 thousand. So we're starting to get it a little bit more. Like people that are interested in stuff, backup batteries. Okay, let's kind of go in. People are interested in battery packs. It's kind of like you could take like the battery niche. So see how it's going up a little bit? Smart batteries, rechargeable batteries. So you just go grab a bunch of interest and try to get it up. There's 200,000. Now we could stop there. I, I think we can go a little bit higher. You can kind of look at this, like people are interested in mobile phone accessories. That's now we're, we're, that's also what we're selling is a mobile phone accessory. And you can start going in and adding a lot of these, okay? And you could kind of look for ones like iPhone lovers. Okay, there's another one. People are interested in iPhone lovers batteries, battery recycling, all kinds of stuff. So what we just did was we just basically said people are interested in iPhone 6 and have an additional interest in all kinds of um, battery chargers and stuff like that. There's 210,000 people. So there's a good, we're gonna do a purchase ad, people are interested in iPhone 6 and interested in all these kind of chargers. Okay, edit placements. <clears throat> we're gonna show this to the mobile because they're gonna have an iPhone. They're, gonna, they're probably gonna be on their phone looking at it. We're not gonna show it on Instagram. Now, you guys might say, do you ever show it on Instagram? Yes, I do, but I would run a separate ad to Instagram. Whenever I run to Instagram, I wanna run only to Instagram. So I'll choose Instagram and won't choose anything else because I wanna see how Instagram is performing, okay? So here's my reach, 200,000 people that are mobile on Facebook, $5 a day purchase conversion. So again, I'm running a $5 a day purchase conversion focusing on people in the United States that have an iPhone 6, and also are interested in, in batteries and chargers, okay? Um, targeting mobile news feed, $5 a day. And on the bottom here, I'll do, um, I'll do something like USA. Um, I'll do USA and I'll do, uh, you know, intersecting audience, right? So I'll do USA, iPhone 6. I use the word X for inter intersecting audience. iPhone 6 and battery charger keywords, okay? Something like that. Continue. And then again, it wants me to create a new video, but what I would do is I would just use one from one of my original, now I actually don't have that video anywhere, so I'll just use a fake video. I'm gonna do a fake post for now. Um, sorry, because I don't have that battery charger video anywhere. So let's just do, um, oh, let's do that same, let's just do that same one that I just did. Let's pretend, use your, use your mind. Let's pretend that this right here, um, no, we'll use the Shopify wrap one. 
Let's pretend that Shopify wrap one is a wireless charging video because I don't want to, my internet's too slow for me to upload one. Just use your imagination and pretend this is a video I uploaded about the wireless charger. And there you go. I've done a $5 a day purchase conversion ad. That's 200,000 people. And I'm gonna place the order, okay? So now I've got a purchase conversion that's gonna track purchases from that product and it's gonna show me if I get purchases. Now I'm gonna go back and maybe do another purchase. I'm gonna go back and do this again a few times, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these $5 a day purchase ads. If this one doesn't work, I'm gonna maybe try another audience. I'm gonna try another audience. Maybe I'll target Android. There's, you wanna get, basically, you wanna run a page post engagement ad to get it going. Get it going viral. Then you want to try audiences. What you're doing is you're fishing. You're casting your fishing line over and over and over, trying to find the right product, the right ad copy, and the right audience. And then once you get there, then you're trying to find the right price, the right copy that sells them. And once you have all of this stuff working together, you're able to control traffic and you're able to find the most targeted buyers and send them over here to your products and make sales. And then Facebook will start working for you and Facebook will start optimizing these ads for you to make you um, even more money, okay? This is like casting lines fishing. If you don't get any bites, then you go to a new spot of the lake and you, and you cast your line again. And if you're still not getting any bites, then you change your bait. You change your type of hook. You change your time of day. You start changing things. Just because you're not getting any bites doesn't mean there aren't any fish in the lake. As long as you know there's fish in the lake, it's only a matter of time before you start catching yours and you've got to get better. Just like learning to fish, you're learning to advertise. So hopefully this training has been helpful and effective for you guys. I'm going to jump off. I'm out in Salt Lake City, Utah right now at the food blogging conference and I'm out here making some big connections with influencers, having a blast. And I look forward to helping each one of you become more and more successful selling items on Facebook using the most cutting edge strategies like what we shared today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask the community inside the Facebook group and I look forward to reading your responses if you enjoyed today's video. If you guys want more advanced videos like this, be sure to let us know. If this was too advanced, be sure to let us know. We're here to serve you without your feedback. We have no way to help you. So let us know. Would you like us to be simpler? Would you like us to be slower, faster? What examples would you like to see more of? Um, would you like to see more advanced, less advanced? We'd look forward to your feedback, okay? Okay, everybody, take care.